Hi guys, Gerardo here. As an emergency clinician, we often have to perform invasive diagnostics in order to try and find an answer so we can treat and manage our patients appropriately. Often we have to use the ultrasound and collect samples of fluid or tissue from within cavities to help us arrive at a diagnosis. Let me show you how I can use the ultrasound in order to try and get those samples. The first thing to understand is the ultrasound beam. The ultrasound beam comes out flat. And when you insert your needle in, you want to make sure that the needle is in the same plane as the ultrasound beam. If you go on a weird angle, then you'll only see part of the needle and you will miss the tip. I'll demonstrate. In the same plane, we see the entire needle. The second thing is understanding where the needle shows up on the screen. So we want to insert the needle into the tissue just in front of the ultrasound probe and aim so that the point of the needle comes in to the middle of the ultrasound beam, which is where we want the area of interest to be. So we find the area of interest, we insert the needle just in front of the ultrasound, angling towards the middle of the probe. is troubleshooting when you've lost your needle. So you've placed your probe and you've located the area of interest and you've inserted your needle but you can't see it on the ultrasound screen. The safest thing to do would be to actually fan your probe, so fan your probe in order to locate the needle tip as opposed to actually moving your needle as this can cause pretty significant trauma on the inside. Let me demonstrate on the ultrasound. So we've located the area of interest. We insert our needle and we can't find it. So instead of moving the needle, what we do is we move the probe. to locate the needle. So one thing I've learned the hard way is to make sure that you always pump your syringe so that it's easier to aspirate. 